I've been wanting to upgrade my car mount situation for a while now and decided to try a Stilly. In this video, I'll show you what you get in the box, the steps I took to install it in my Ford F-150 and onto my phone, and my thoughts on the product. In the box, you get these items, which include a magnetic socket, the dash ball mount, multi-stick adapter, and a clear disc. I didn't end up using the multi-stick adapter or the clear disc because I have a smooth phone case and I wasn't really worried about easy removal. It was difficult for me to find the perfect location to place the magnetic socket. Of course, the instructions say center, but at the time I was thinking I wanted to add a pop socket, so I was trying to go slightly above center but not cover up the Apple logo. I ended up not getting a pop socket and wish I'd went dead center with the magnet. I'll show you why later. The next step is to try to figure out where in my F-150 to place the ball mount. My main goal was to avoid the vent as that's where my old mount was as you can see in the video. That location annoyed me because my phone blocked much needed cool air during the summer and made my phone hot during the winter. As you can see I experimented with a few different locations in order to identify which is best. This part's a little stressful because once you peel off that adhesive cover and touch it to a location, it's there for good. I ended up deciding on this location. It was easy to view and reach from the driver's seat and it didn't block the vent. I cleaned the area that I was going to apply it to with the alcohol swab and then dried it off. And then I removed the adhesive cover. And then I positioned the ball mount where I wanted it to go. And I wanted to make sure the stilly was lined up uh, perfect. I didn't want it crooked. Uh, and then I pressed on it for 5 to 10 seconds to make sure it held. Once installed, it says to wait 24 hours before you use it. However, I didn't do that. But when I did use it just to test it out, I made sure when I removed the phone that I pushed the ball mount as I was remo removing. So at this point I've been using it for two weeks and have a few things to share. I've had two issues, one of where I installed the socket and the other where I installed the ball mount. First, we'll talk about the socket. Since I didn't place it dead center, I have this issue. Basically, while driving and hitting bumps and, and whatnot, the f with the phone in the horizontal or landscape orientation, it slowly falls to the heavier side. That's a bit annoying, and it's even worse if you plug in the charger. But, when you turn it vertically, it's a good, strong, tight fit, doesn't move around much, and uh, works perfect. No complaints. And here's a quick real-time shot of the phone in horizontal uh, orientation with the phone charger plugged in. And as you can tell, almost instantly, the phone starts to sag to the side with the charger. Now here's my biggest beef about where I positioned the stilly, is when you're backing up, like I'm about to do, and the backup camera comes on, there's a portion of it you can't see, and it's hard to get this thing out of the way.
So it's not a deal breaker, but every time you go into reverse, you have to make some adjustment. And put it back. And I'm not so sure if I'd have put it over here, I think it would have solved that problem, but that's a little bit far to reach to try to, um, you know, answer text and stuff like that. It's almost like you gotta lean over. If I had to do it over, I would maybe try to go up here with it. Um, but even then you're cutting off a little bit of the, uh, of the, of the monitor there. Um, if you went sideways, but like I showed you sideways doesn't, or vertical, or horizontal doesn't always work. Uh, it'll start moving this way. Um, so really, I don't know of the best place in an F-150 to put a stilly. If you have one and you have it in a better place than I have it, let me know. Uh, again, I thought about over here, closer to this edge, but again, that puts you over the vent. So in the summer, you're blocking out some air, much needed air. And then of course, in the winter, uh, your phone starts to get hot. So I don't really see right now a good spot to put these things, uh, but they are handy. I mean, that magnet works really well. I mean, as you can see right here and here, that's a solid connection. Um, and for vertical viewing, it's, I mean, it's the best I think you could get. It's just hard to find a good spot for it. Let me know um, where you put yours and if you, just from watching this video, if you'd have any suggestions on where you would put it if this was your vehicle.